Hey, Vincent here, and in this video, we're gonna review and react to episode 4 of God of High School. So enjoy! It, they have this comic comic book vibe here. Big Bang. And we're down to the, the final four. Got the three main characters and then the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Damn. Wait, did he actually, did he actually say yes? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, she says yes. I watched it earlier. Oh. Was it with that guy just came out of nowhere and was like, did you marry me? <laughs> no problem. What the baby wants to do is touch your face. Guy just getting whipped, wrecked. <laughs> Fishy, right? Dude, I want one right now. I want a double bogey sandwich. <laughs> like, it's like one of those things where your your family marries them off for like combining clans kind of thing, but different twist to it. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> now he's more serious. Family knows that she... Oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna run. Yes, I knew it. Oh, oh we're gonna have like a matrix battle, huh? <laughs> ah, he's one of those guys. Okay, okay. And oh, really? Oh, the way, hand away, yeah. Is this is a little push. Oh, so you can't fight those people. Oh, damn, a real sword. Locked it with his hand. This is like the easy way out, I guess. Getting married is the easy way out. Promote her sword. Back with a flower.
Ooh. Oh, his true colors are coming out now. Accent. Oh. Wow, we got some big action. Damn. <laughs> she had to move just for slapping. <laughs> oh yeah, I think this is a big part of the story. Oh no. Now it's his story part. Oh. Oh, he finally... I'm like, I'm over this crap. <laughs> of course. Oh! Aim for- he was aiming for the injury. Damn. Oh no. He's angry, so then... Yeah, this episode is like... An episode where you wanna like... Wake up the person. They have like a midlife crisis kind of thing. Alright, Wedding Crashers to review. Just kidding, we're reviewing this episode and the proposal and the backstory was pa fast paced in this episode. They did have like subtle hints like with the dojo uh, being taken over by uncle and it was good enough so they were having problems keeping clients and then the furniture was green for vision so they kind of needed money. They kind of didn't dive up, dive into that too much and more like the fame but of course with fame you can get money off of that right? It was a little bit confusing though in the beginning, especially when it felt like that Mira did say yes off the bat with like they did have some slight flashback but like super not fleshed out. Cause it was going straight into wedding planning after she was like, huh? Everyone was like, what the F was going on? Suddenly got proposed. Uh -oh. But let's go with the scene that I enjoyed in this episode. Let's just start off with Mira ending the day with an OP slap to the face. <laughs> what Moonlight style number six monkey arm? That was nice. But the best part was to me is when Mori and Duay came into the wedding hall. They were looking super slick and super slick. And can we get a nice with Mori in the sunglasses sitting next to your cousin just eating a popsicle? Dude, when I was watching that, I wanted a popsicle. Low key, wanted a popsicle. I do have some downstairs, I might get some later. But the action was shorter compared to the other episodes, so to me, um, it, w it wasn't as great as the previous episode because I was more of an action kind of guy. But it is the turning point, and it added more story to this because um, that sword, though. Yoink! Later days. <laughs> 